What's good guys? Today I want to do a bit of a review video on Chris's road stuff. Now obviously Chris is known as being Rice and Miata, but he has a super nice, I guess you could say Miata from Japan, but over in Japan they're called Roadsters. In Australia we call them MX-5s. Now he has this really nice white one, and I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this, but it has an SR20 swapped into it, and it's making some really good power. So let me show you. And this is it here. It's pretty simple, it looks really good from the outside, some nice lips, running some TE37s, white of course, to match with the white paint. Um, it's really a well put together car, honestly. Hard top, it's running some bright seats, obviously right hand drive. Loving the Yashio factory shift knob and boot, it's very cool. It's obviously missing a fair few uh, interior pieces here and there, but the most important thing about this is that it's more, I guess, function over form. So things fall apart in the dash and things like that. We'll get to that and we'll probably fix that in the next few days for him as well, just because my OCD is driving me insane. But this is the engine bay. More pink bits, Yashio Factory water pulley, Yashio Factory uh, oil cap. And uh, this thing is epic. I think he's running a GTX 2871R. I'll check with him later on in the video to make sure. But literally everything in here, like engine-wise, this is really nice for an SR. So this is obviously an SR from like a 180SX or a early uh, S13. It's a non-VCT uh, engine. So as you can see, there's no little hump there for a VCT. And uh, yeah, overall, it's really good. It's factory, it's stock. It's not um, any forged internals whatsoever. It just has a turbo bolted on, Greddy intake manifold. It has an aftermarket ECU, ECU masters, boost control, all that kind of stuff, all the sensors and things like that as well um, for you know engine protection and stuff like that. If anything goes wrong, running a Mishimoto motor radiator and a really nice intercooler down in there as well. In all honesty, like the swap looks super legit. It looks great. There's no like kind of weird cuts and stuff like that. There's definitely a few things here and there that uh, need attention. Um, but I mean, this thing just trust me, it hauls ass. Yo, Chris, I wanted to double check. Did you build your Roadstar for function over form or form over function? You already know that question. Function over form? Yeah. My man. I told I, you, boys. You drive it. That thing's fun. I got, I beat my I got my first trophy with autocrossing. First Hell time yeah. ever autocrossing. Got first place with that thing. Is that your first trophy for uh, motorsports? I think so, actually. Dude, that's epic. With the roadster. Hell yeah. Awesome, right? Awesome. Thing's fun. Go rip it. So enough talking about this thing. I think it's time we took this thing for a drive. Obviously, I'm a little bit of a tall person, so fitting in a Miata can be difficult sometimes. Let's get this GoPro rolling. Um, but because of the bucket seats, this thing is actually pretty comfortable for me to drive. Uh, don't get me wrong though, my legs definitely, like with the clutch fully in there, it, they're definitely pretty high. But with uh, the NRG hub and quick release, it's brought the wheel forward, which kind of puts it in a nice position where my knees and thighs aren't hitting it. But, like I said, enough talking, let's fire this bad boy up. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna switch to the GoPro and uh, we'll take it out for a rip. The clutch in this definitely feels good. Um, overall though, the car's definitely vibrating and making a lot of noise. Um, but like I said, Chris built this as function over form. So it's definitely making a lot of noise. Uh, I did ask him about that actually, before when he uh, took me for a drive with it. And he said it's just because the exhaust is rattling and stuff because it's a big three inch exhaust and they don't fit too well under the Miatas. Especially when they're this low and you want to tuck it, right? Okay, so the car's now up to temperature, which means we can beat on it a little bit. Okay, that's annoying. We need to fix that. Um, so let's go to our little spot over here. Take it for a little rip. This thing seriously feels so good. All right. I'm pretty excited for this spot right here. The, th the one thing though that I do not enjoy is that the, uh, the accelerator pedal is really close to the brake. All right, let's go. Woo! And I naturally went to the left-hand side of the road again. <laughs> 
luckily no one's on the street here in Mexico. Man, this thing is a weapon. All right, let's go back. Oh my gosh, the brakes in this thing are epic. Wow. I mean, you want them to be, right? They're Wilwoods. Okay. Let's do a quick U-turn. I'm gonna set up my camera on the outside. I'm gonna do a little bit of a launch in this. Not gonna smash it too hard because it's not my car. But we'll do just a little launch in first, second, and just kind of see what it's like. See, like my big foot, literally, <laughs> every time I brake, it tries to hit the accelerator a little bit. That's bad. This thing feels amazing though. I just don't like how things keep falling at me. Okay, so this is awesome. You can see here my launch, right? And you can see first gear spins right here, then there's a gap. That's me changing to second. And then second gear here, we ride it to here and then there's another gap, and then third. That is first, second, third. That's amazing. All right, let's shut this thing off. Far out, this thing is an absolute weapon. Um, so, now comes for a little bit of uh, feedback, right? Let's get this wheel off here so I got some more room. Wait, is it gonna come off? Hang on, I need both hands. There, there we go. So a little bit of feedback. I want to see this fixed. That's like, come on, like is there a screw or something that just goes in that somewhere? We'll get this fixed, right? There's a big crack down the middle there, but we can fix that. Um, things falling out. Um, the aircon thing fell out. This fell out, like, and hit the shifter, like, far out. Um, that's pretty much my only gripes with it, is like, if you're going down the drag strip, the last thing you want is this to fall into your shift, not, like, and stop you from shifting fast enough. Um, Everything else about the car, like there's a bit of vibration noise and stuff from the exhaust, that's okay, that's just how it is. Otherwise though, the car itself feels really good. It could do with a little bit of an alignment. Um, the turning circle radius on this is actually really good. There's no lock kit or anything on it, but I'm really impressed. I guess that's because it's a short wheelbase. It turns pretty decent. Um, the dash condition is actually really, really good. Um, and, I mean, it just needs a few interior pieces here and there to make it like tidy up and look even better. I'm loving the seats, the seats are good, the wheel's good, the shifter's good, the clutch is good, everything is really good. The, uh, like I said, my big foot here when I hit the brake, sometimes I tap the edge of the accelerator, so maybe a smaller accelerator pedal would be better for me if I was to drive this car. Um, but otherwise, it's really good. Like, I, I literally, as a function over form person myself, I really can't fault this car that much because it performs and it functions really well and does exactly what Chris wants it to do. Well, there you guys go. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I mean, the car itself, like it's low to the ground for a Miata. Um, it's kind of still a little bit Ebisu spec though. So I kind of dig it. Like, look at this, look at this, right? Look at that, kind of nice, right? And then look at this Miata or this Roadster, sorry. Roads, no, that's a Roadster, that's a Miata. My bad, sorry guys. But just look at that. It's kind of Ebisu spec, right guys? Compared to this thing at least, right? This thing is slammed, damn. Very, very nice. I really dig this thing. I think it's great. He's got the right tires on there. He's got, you know, wheel wood brakes. All the great stuff for this thing to stop in a hurry, go fast in a hurry, and perform really, really well. Cooling wise, it doesn't overheat or anything like that. The engine bay looks great. It's a really nice put together car. And if I was to be honest, for someone who's actually watched Chris's videos for quite a while, even before I knew him personally, I have to say that this is probably the nicest car I've ever seen him build on the channel other than the GTR. I think that thing is going places, the Evo's going places, but right now where those two cars are at and where this car is at, 
this one wins. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section. I love to hear your thoughts, what you think of this car. I'm not going into crazy detail and doing like slow-mo shots and cinematic stuff or anything like that because I think those kind of shots, it's very easy to hide a lot of imperfections and stuff like this. And I want this channel to always be about rawness, you know what I mean? I want it to be real. And I really think out of this car, even with all the issues in the interior and the noises that it makes from vibrating exhausts and stuff like that, it, it, it's legit raw and real and it is amazing. I can't get over how well the thing. It's a rocket, man. So yeah, pretty much, it, it's like 390 something horsepower. It's pretty much, let's just call it 400 horsepower. Apparently Jack's dyno reads super low. I don't know. Anyways, but 400 horsepower SR, factory internals, running a Garrett GTX Gen 2 2871, I believe. Let me just check that. Yo, bro, what turbo's on your Miata? Oh, sorry, Roadster, my bad, my bad. Thank you, 2867. 2867, yeah. the Gen 2? Gen 2, yeah. Gen 2. So I had oh. a 71 on it before. Okay. I think it made like 360. Okay. And it was, it, I, I don't wanna say it was laggy. It yep. was a little laggy, around like 4,200 RPM. Yep. So I figured when that turbo blew, go a little smaller, maybe make a little power. And um, it's spool that like, I think it's, what, it's like 32? 3200 it's really up, yeah. Wild. It's it's it really good. good, yeah. So I'm definitely happy that I like, uh, got a smaller turbo. Yeah, so it's the Garrett 2867 RS. Yes. Okay, so I was wrong. I'm well, glad I, I checked with you. I thought it was a 71, well, it yeah. it used to be the 71. Okay, that's where I got mixed up then. So you thought that, that's mean 71, 67. 67 is definitely small. The 71 looks like yeah. bad A. Eh? Yeah. I had a 70 <laughs> I had a 71 on my RB25 and I actually dropped that down to a 57. Really? Yeah. Okay. Spills real fast now. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, thanks for clarifying. Well, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. And uh, thanks heaps for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. Tell me in the comment section like I said before. Tell me what you think of Chris's form, sorry, function over form car. And uh, I'll leave you guys to it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe again. Jamatane.